sign of mushrooms yet. It's extremely humid today as a run of very agitated, powerful line squalls push the miserable high pressure zone out of here that's been tormenting us for several days, despite protestations regarding global warming. This appears to be an old secondary, tertiary utility kind of truck road you find around here in various parts, old fire road, some sort of thing. We're following the Sudbury River. The Sudbury is basically looming to my right. Some strange little old stone building over here. It appears to belong to the town. Who knows what its function is? This section of trail mostly heads into downtown Ashland. There's some strange little thing spewing water into the river. Don't know what function it has, what its role is, but it's spewing water. Lifely. It's probably a drainage from pumping things out. It's daylighting. A lot of elders growing around it. Here's an old rusted abandoned fire plug thingy. New England's full of this quaint rotting infrastructure. Some of it's actually supposed to be functional and work, but <coughs> we can't be doing that. Some picturesque old moldering park benches. And then we duck into the woods. There's the river. We're near the old Nyanza site, which they cleaned up at some expense. It's a fairly happy looking river, I guess. piece of crap. Who knows? It's very quiet. A lot of these suburbs don't seem to be too aware that they have these amenities or perhaps it's not terribly important to them. The air is much cooler here in the woods. We have some pond lilies. The Great American Lotus. It's a full lotus position. Nice little harmless trail. 
quite a lot of ferns. Very green. Bracken crowds in. Ah, there's a blaze indicating a turn of direction, perhaps. Well, we're still heading this way. It's a huge pine. Pines like this tend to house hawks. Ah, the trail is a little more noticeable, and here we have one of our first locally made amenities, a little bridge. Looks to be well crafted. It's the Jean Pretzer Bridge. Courtesy of her family and friends in her memory. Been here since September of '91. <laughs> Memory lingers on. There are little charming stretches all over the place in the Bay Circuit. This, of course, is also the height of mosquito time. And here we come upon ever more of the old Yankee stone walls. The mosquitoes are fairly easy to swat. They must not have run into many people to bite, so they don't have adaptive responses to humans. They probably apply their torments to less flexible creatures. Cool old lichen-covered rock. of a pond, the jug -a rumming of a bullfrog, little Ashland off in the distance, bucolic, quiet, 
It's the worst days behind it. Maybe it was a cellar hole for a shed of some kind. Who knows? He thinks it has a human origin. Here's one of our classic New England boulder erratics. Dragged down by a glacier from somewhere. And a companion. Really nice moss formation. There's even a little prince's pine. trail. Kind of raised now. Might be remnants of an esker. Who knows? Just a little esker if it is one. again traverse suburbia looks like someone's yard wonder if they have an easement arrangement ah yes there's the bay circuit stuff so you would head this way this concludes our current Bay Circuit examination in Ashland.